facing chaos. The Magic Millions handicap field is set. Racing. Rickley flew out of the gates from the inside. Beat out Woodsville chasing Chaos. Jackpot Prince is going to settle down last and going back Cruishan and Luke's Gold also. But Rickley, as he has done more recently in his starts, he wants to lead and run them early. And Rickley leads a length and a half as they go to the back straight from chasing Chaos and Gloryland. Woodsville's running fourth. Blazing business down on the inside. Fifth three quarters. Hakuna Matata going up near the rail. Gonna go behind those and then nearly two lengths Cruishan. Sean, Luke's goal, Jackpot Prince first up is at the tail with 1,000 left to go. And Wrinkley steadies up the ship now and he's got his neck arched in front. Parnham takes hold. Wrinkley chewing steel in front, three quarters clear. Running second, chasing chaos with 800 left to travel. On the fence, Glory Land third, three quarters to Woodsville who's had a peach of a run. Then two lengths to Hakuna Matata coming off the bit there, being desperately written on the inside of Blazing Business. Patiently written back there, the big fellow Gonna go, Luke's goal, and also Cruishana well out of their ground. And last of all, Jackpot Prince as Parnham takes off again. 400 left to travel, and Rinkley's got them stretching around the corner. Rinkley by two and a half, chasing Chaos Woodsville. Glory land a long way back. Gonna go at the 300. Rinkley still clear. He's throwing everything at the top weight. Rinkley draws the whip. Woodsville chasing Chaos. They're starting to pick him up with 100 left to run, and so's gonna go. Woodsville. Wrinkley gonna go flying, gonna go Woodsville. Woodsville got the bobber. Woodsville's won it narrowly from gonna go. A brave Wrinkley third from Cruishan. Luke's goal, Jackpot Prince, and then chasing chaos. A gap in the field then to blazing business, Hakuna Matata. And the last of them to greet the judges, Glory Land. Woodsville, Lucy Warwick. 790, 230 has held gonna go. A big moment awaits Lucy later on in the day as well. She'll be piloting Material Man, who's been all the talk, certainly in the last 24 hours. And she gets a confidence builder up there for Brian Kersley on Woodsville, holding Gunnago Rickley under the 60 and out to the mile, just unable to see out the last little bit. Brave in defeat. 35.04 the sectional, 136.24 the time. The winner, Woodsville. Back to back, they've come by Blackfriars, the second of his stock to win this afternoon out of the scenic mare, Yorkshire Rose. For Brian Kersley, Ms. J. Novak, prepared by Brian and ridden by Lucy Warwick. Three gonna go. Another minor placing here for the trade fair gilding out of Impatient Lass. Steve Roberts, Mrs. SM, and E. Smith, the owners, trained by Jason Pateman, ridden by Alan Kennedy. And Rickley third in a Saxon, Kylie Nadine Gelding, owned by Steve Kilner and Stephen Parnham, the rider for Nev Parnham. 5-3-1-9, Cruishan has grabbed fourth just in front of Chasing Chaos. Now race six, the iFly Perth Indoor Skydiving Handicap at 10 to 4. Three come on board, seven roughhead, 18 de Andes, the scratchings out of the first leg of our quaddy. So Woodsville attacked and kept attacking picking up Rinkley and then holding gonna go in a close finish it was a short head by three quarters of a length gareth hall is about to join us down there in the yard and uh, we're about to catch up with him as well so there's a confidence builder for lucy lucy warwick she of course rides the strong fancy material man in the cup a little later on as brian kersley catches up with the, the g-man and Brian Kersley joins us now. That was a really good performance by the nine-year-old who makes a back-to-back -back victories in about eight days here at Ascot. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty impressive performance by him. Yeah, very happy. Back to the 1,600 metres today, but the pace was on. Were you happy in the run? Oh, very happy. Um, Lucy and I spoke before the race, and we pretty much picked that's where we'd settle, so very happy. Another tougher test today. Did you expect that he could do what he just did? He pulled up really well after his win the other day. Um, he's been jumping out of his skin at home. Yeah, I was quietly confident he'd do a really good job. Can you believe it? He's doing this at nine years of age? No, but there is a couple of empty stables at home if anyone wants to put some horses in them. Well, you're doing a wonderful job, especially with this son of Blackfriars. And Lucy, she puts a smile on her face after a gem of a ride. Well done, Brian. Thanks a lot, mate.
There we go, Brian Kersley there with Woodville. And that was a good performance by the nine-year-old, the son of Black Fries. Defeating Gunner Go was a long way back. He hit the line strongly. Another really good performance. The time there, 136.2. Home that last 638, or 36, I should say, 0.18. Gonna go second. Wrinkley was brave. Kruishan and Chasing Chaos finishing fourth and fifth. And as Hawley pointed out, Jackpot Prince might be the black booker over more of a trip out of that race. He was pretty good first up. Lucy Warwick, she's in good form for the back as a material man. That was an 11 out of 10 ride aboard the old boy Woodsfield. She gets on really well with this galloper. She'll jump on the scales and then she'll be catching up with Matthew Kelly. Matty, take it away. Gave us a little bit of a scare on Saturday with a bout of food poisoning, but she's back to full health and she's back in the winner's stall aboard this nine-year-old who just does not know his age. No, he definitely doesn't. I was probably a little bit worried in this uh, step back in distance. I thought, oh, he probably didn't jump as quick or as fast as I'd like him to the other day, um, but he dug deep and I thought, you oh, he'd probably need further. Here. But today he's really on his toes. Uh, he jumped better than the other day and travelled better and... Well, when I asked for an effort, he never stopped. Countdown to the Tab Touch Perth Cup is on. You're on the favourite material, man, no doubt. Looking forward to that. Yeah, I've been excited, very, very nervous, um, but I think you should go good. All the best there, and well done here. Congratulations. Thank you. Lucy Warwick, too good. The five, the nine-year-old Woodsville proves too good again, good again for the second consecutive start. Yes, well done to the Kersley family and also to Lucy Warwick with Woodsville taking out race number five. We'll take a quick break here on Sky Thoroughbred Central. It is great to have your company on New Year's Day. Happy New Year as we celebrate Perth Cup Day from the West. Back shortly.